from your Namaga students. This is Mrs. Shri Vidya from Poon Vidya Shram. Today we are going to see the heat chapter. Before we see about the heat chapter, let's have the quick recap of the previous session. What we had learnt in the previous session. What is heat? Cold and hot objects. Temperature. About temperature scales. And what do you mean by thermometer? The principle behind thermometer and different types of thermometer. Before we go into today's session, let us see the various examples of heat. When you rub your hands against each other, they get warm. Here the heat is produced. When a nail is hung on a log foot, it gets warm. Here a part of mechanical energy of hammer gets converted into heat. When water is stirred vigorously in a mixer, it gets warm. So here mechanical energy of the stirrer gets converted into heat. So this example shows that heat is produced whenever some other form of energy is used up. Or some other form of energy is obtained when the heat energy is used up. Let us see about the hot and cold objects. In our daily life, we come across a number of objects. Some of them are hot and some of them are cold. Example, tea is hot and ice is cold. Some objects are hotter than others and some are colder than others. We often decide which object is hotter than the other by touching the objects. We cannot always rely on our sense of touch to decide how hot or how cold an object is. So the hotness of an object is measured by its temperature. When we add heat to body, motion of its particle increases. Now let us see what do you mean by temperature. Temperature is the amount of heat in a body or system. The instrument which measures temperature is the called as a thermometer. So we use the terms hot and cold are only relative terms but there must be always a reference body with respect to which we can say a given body is hot or cold. Therefore it is important that we use an instrument rather than our own judgment to measure temperature. So we come across many things which appear hot or cold. How do we decide whether any object is hot, hotter, colder, colder? Generally, we decide it by touching. So, uh, how accurate is our sense of touch? Is that we can undergo few activities. That is, fruit juice is cold, ice is colder, tea is hot. So, let's do with some of the activities. Now, let us see about a temperature. When we touch an object, it appears hot or cold. When you take an ice cream, it appears cold. And when you sip a hot cup of tea, it appears hot. What makes things appear hot or cold? The sensation of hotness or coldness depends upon the direction of flow of heat. When heat flows from object to a body to us, when heat flows from our body to the object, it appears cold to us. Then what do we conclude with this? We can define temperature now. Degree of hotness or coldness of an object on some chosen scale is called its temperature. So an object appears hot if its temperature is higher than that of our body. So the word thermometer means heat. Thermo means heat and meter means measuring device. So let's see about the difference between the heat and temperature. Heat is a form of energy that moves from one point to other due to temperature difference. When you dip one end of an ion rod into fire and hold the other end with your hand, this other hand soon becomes hot because energy has flowed from point dipped into the fire to this other end. Energy flow is what is known as heat. Temperature is a measure of how cold or hot a body is. 
What's how? What is the difference between heat and temperature? Heat is a form of energy. Here, it is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. Heat is measured in joules, and temperature is measured in kelvin. Then next, let's see about the temperature scales. There are three temperature scales. They are Celsius scale, earlier called a centigrade scale, Fahrenheit scale, Kelvin or absolute scale. In common use, the temperature is measured on the Celsius scale. Therefore, let us now describe about the Celsius scale. The Celsius scale was discovered by the scientist Anders Celsius. Its scale temperature is described in degrees Celsius. It's a metric scale of temp temperature. The lower, there are two reference scales. One is a lower fixed point. Another one is upper fixed point. The lower fixed point of the Celsius scale is taken as 0 degree Celsius. An upper fixed point is called as 100 degree Celsius. So, the interval between these two points is divided into 100 equal divisions. Thus, the unit division on the scale corresponds to a temperature equal to 1 degree centigrade. Clinical thermometer is otherwise called as a doctor's thermometer. Now, let's see the difference between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. We had discussed in the previous session about this. When we see in the properties, first of all, size. Much larger, clinical is shorter. Temperature range is 0 to 100 degrees Celsius, here 35 to 42 degrees Celsius. Position of the Time of reading. Bulb remains in contact with the substance or body. Read after removing away from the body. Design of the body. Simple cylindrical. Your body is designed to give magnifying effect to mercury column only at certain angle. Design of capillary. Straight capillary. Capillary with a king called constriction. These are the difference between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. Similarities between a laboratory and a clinical thermometer. Thermometric liquid, both are mercury and scale of temperature Celsius and this is also Celsius. Do you know? Earlier, clinical thermometer was based on Fahrenheit scale. On this scale, the body temperature of a normal healthy person is 90.6 degree Fahrenheit. Now, let us know about some points about laboratory thermometer. Laboratory thermometer, the scale ranges from minus 10 to 110 degrees Celsius. To measure the temperature of an object, we use a device called thermometer, we know. And uh, um, labo in laboratory thermometer, consists of a thick wall fine bore glass capillary tube. This capillary tube has a small thin bulb at its lower end. So, the air in the portion of the tube above mercury is remained by evacuation. And the upper end of the tube is then sealed. The portion of the capillary tube above the bulb is called as stem. It is graduated in degrees, usually from minus 10 to 110 degrees Celsius. So, except for doctor's thermometer which is also known as the mercury thermometer. All thermometers are red keeping the mercury bulb in contact with the body whose temperature is to be measured. Mercury thermometers can be used for measuring temperatures from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 350 degrees Celsius. For each range of th temperature, a proper Capillary is used. When the thermometer is placed under the tongue of a person, he or she should not talk, yawn or move her tongue. This is to avoid the breakage of thermometer. Then the temperature scale which I told you before. Now when you talk about the Celsius thermometer, it is used to measure the body temperature. Previously, we had been using about Fahrenheit scale. This Kelvin scale, it is used in the laboratories in order to measure the temperature of the chemicals. What are the precautions to be observed while using a laboratory thermometer is, the thermometer should be held vertical. 
the bulb of the thermometer will be surrounded by the liquid or the substance whose temperature is to be measured. The bulb should not touch the bottom or sides of the beaker. The reading of temperature should be taken without taking it out of the liquid substance. The eye should be kept at the level of mercury thread. Thermometer should neither be placed in a very hot liquid nor in ice cold liquid. So now let us see why mercury is used as ideal liquid for thermometer. Mercury is a shiny liquid metal and therefore can be easily seen. Mercury does not stick to glass. It expands and contracts uniformly with the rays and fall in temperature. Mercury freezes at minus 39 degrees Celsius. That is the freezing point of mercury is minus 39 degrees Celsius and the boiling point is 357 degrees Celsius under normal pressure. Therefore, it can be used over a wide temperature range. But nowadays, we are using the uh, digital thermometer where the mercury is not used because mercury is so expensive. Not only that, the persons who are working in the industry is uh, manufacturing mercury. They are getting a nervous uh, disorder and the disease called as a Mina Machat disease. So nowadays we are using a digital thermometer where they do not have a mercury. So that we had discussed in the previous session. Now let's see what are the precautions to be observed while using a clinical thermometer. Before that, this is a small activity. To measure the body temperature of some of your friends with a clinical thermometer and then please fill this tabular column that is name of your friend body temperature remarks number of friends having normal body temperature number of friends uh, having body temperature above normal should be noted hope you would have understood the sessions with uh, different types of uh, thermometer now, in the next session, let us see about the mode of heat transfer. There are three modes of heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation. Let's have the recap of the session and the mode of heat transfer in the next session. Thank you children.